toddlers and tiaras. It's the classic example of wannabe parents and spoiled daughters who don false eyelashes, fake teeth, and frilly gowns. Glitz pageants rose to fame in the 1960s after the Miss America pageant was conceived in the 1920s. The year 1996 came along with a pageant media frenzy when the popular child beauty queen, Jean Benet Ramsey, was tragically killed in her Colorado home. With more than 250,000 child beauty pageants all across the country, the world of pageantry has made a comeback in recent years with shows such as Honey Boo Boo, Toddlers and Tiaras, and Kim of Queens. These big TV ratings, however, are also known to cause lasting negative effects on the girls who partake in these rhinestone-encrusted activities. Dr. Martina Cartwright, a scientist and registered dietitian who graduated from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, has done an extraordinary amount of research on the subject of child beauty pageants. Everything is appearance driven. If that message is delivered frequently that acceptance is only based on the way that you look, they may suffer from low self-esteem, body dissatisfaction, and trust issues. They have a hard time trusting other girls. You said, are you beautiful? And I said, I'm all, and I was almost going to say, She's, she's thinking I'm not beautiful, and I am always beautiful. Welcome to Brilliant Wisconsin, home of sixth grader Erica Barlament. She is a typical 12-year-old girl who enjoys playing basketball, participating in her church's handbell choir, and playing with her pets. What sets Erica apart from her <laughs> classmates, Barman however, is that she is genius. also a child pageant queen who started competing well when she was six years old. My mom got a letter in the mail and she said, it does, this looks like fun, do you want to try it? And I said, sure. And so then we did, we went off and we did the pageant and it was fun. But you won't find fake eyelashes, false teeth or hair extensions at these pageants because Erica competes in natural pageants, a side to pageantry that is often overshadowed really by what the media portrays in the glitz pageants. I think people are critical because they assume pageants with like fake eyelashes and fake teeth and way too much hairspray and all that, but if you get into the right pageants like National American Miss, which is a natural pageant, which you're not allowed to wear makeup in, Result it focuses in more on a person's inner beauty one. and teach them skills that will help them throughout their life. The natural pageants that Erica competes in, such as National American Miss, have strict rules that girls 13 Trading and under dreams. aren't allowed to wear makeup and are focused on teaching life skills and self-confidence. My favorite part about pageants is probably meeting a bunch of new friends and I've gained a lot of self-confidence. Um, I'm good at public speaking now and it's easier for me to start conversations with people. But the crown has a deeper meaning for Erica. Before she was born, Erica's mother and father heard her heartbeat for the first time at a doctor's appointment and later that day planned to shop for items for her nursery. However, they never made it to the store. My mom and dad were leaving from the doctor's appointment that they went on to go look for things for my new room because I was still in my mom's stomach at the time. And from there, a car crashed into our car, and my dad was killed on impact, but my mom was taken to the hospital. Erica was born on September 5th, which would have been her dad's 31st birthday. Before his death, Erica's father had signed the back of his driver's license, authorizing him to be an organ and tissue donor. My dad donated his bones, heart valves, and veins, and in the process, he helped over 50 people so that they can continue to live their life. Now, because of pageantry, Erica is carrying out her father's legacy by telling others about the greatest gift that he gave to others, the gift of life. Since I've started public speaking with my platform, I've spoken at numerous places, including a pageant, the medical examiner's office, and so it's something that's very near and dear to my heart. Erica's story continues to positively impact those around her, and she hopes that by sharing her message, people will be able to see the positive impact that pageantry has had on society. For UWW-TV News, I'm Carly Nimmer.